Hello, my friends. Peace. Shalom. Salam. Aloha. Namaste. Blessed be. And may the Great Spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. So we are in the middle of Advent. Do you know what that is? Advent means arrival. It is the season leading up to Christmas. It's four weeks long, and over these four weeks, we are awaiting and preparing for the birth of Jesus and the coming of Emmanuel, God with us. It's a season of anticipation. So just like Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, were excited, nervous, and joyful that their baby was almost here, so are we today. And just like so many people were excited, nervous, and joyful to believe that a savior was coming to rescue them from oppression, poverty, and war, so are we today. And just like children are excited, nervous, and joyful to open presents on Christmas morning, we are all, children and grown-ups too, excited to celebrate a holiday that honors peace, love, hope, and joy for the whole world. In fact, the four weeks of Advent each honor one of these virtues. We light a candle for each of them on the Advent wreath. Last week, we lit the candle of hope. This week, we light the candle of peace. Next week, it will, we will light the candle of joy. And the last week, we will light the candle of love. Then finally, the Christ candle is lit at the center of them all to represent that God, Emmanuel, is finally here with us. Christmas is coming, my children. Christmas means so very much and so many things to so many of us. And during Advent, families all over the world get ready for Christmas through many different traditions. So, what are some of yours? Playing Christmas music? Singing Christmas carols? Cooking Christmas goodies and favorite foods? Decorating Christmas trees, hanging stockings, hanging Christmas lights. What else do you do? One of my favorite traditions happens at my church. We have a special holiday workshop where we make special Christmas and holiday crafts. Things like ornaments, bracelets, decorations, cookies, and cards. It's a fantastic time to get together with old and new friends and be creative together. Making arts and crafts is a way to play and express yourself. It's also a way to pray. It takes focus and care, positivity and goodwill. It puts a smile on your face. It can calm the nerves. It makes the whole world a more beautiful place. So I encourage everyone, grown-ups and kids, to make some Christmas and holiday crafts this season. It's so much fun. So whatever your Advent traditions are, dive in. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, anticipating the arrival of Christmas and celebrating the coming of peace and joy for everyone on earth. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Happy Advent. Bye-bye.